Avengers 2. About to finish a first draft. Okay. It's been enormous fun, followed by deep, deep panic. And I'm in the deep panic stage right now. Actually, I've gone past panic into a sort of vague nether state. It's weird. But mostly it's been, it's been delightful because, you know, I, I, I did the meet and greet in the first one. So now I just have these characters and I can really slam them together and, and you know, and beat them up and, and figure out what makes them tick. And, and I'm just having a great time. Are there certain characters that you want to focus on more than this one? All of them. I mean, that's really the, the thing about the Avengers is everybody matters for a different reason. And that's, that's the way all of my work ends up. It's about the team and, and uh, there are certain people who pair well together and certain pairings we haven't really seen. And, but at the end of the day, it's, it's about all of them. How did the feedback from the first film affect your decisions for this one? It was good that people liked it, but for a long time I didn't really think about it. And then, you know, People started talking about a deal, and you know, it, it looked like it could be feasible. So I sat down and thought about it. Do I have a story to tell? Same thing I thought before the first one. You know, do I? Can I bring something to this? And it took me 40 minutes to realize not only did I have a story, but I was in love with it, and that I needed to. So that was nice. But if you could say anything about what the Avengers are up against in this second film, what would you say? Uh, themselves. <laughs> because we're all our own worst enemy. <laughs>